Hello again, I'm back to um, share some of my polymer clay creations. I mentioned this at the end of the last video that I'd share some things. These are all on my Etsy shop um, if anybody's interested and there is always a link in my video description to that. Um, however, um, it's just really for showing you what I've been working on. So I make a lot of these food themed charms, which I really enjoy um, the challenge of trying to make something look realistic. These are little coconut jam slices. Um, and then there's these are all sort of sweet cake ones, really. Um, that's a chocolate and strawberry cake. There, it's, um, it's interesting to experiment with the clay to try and get something that's realistic. These ones are chocolate brownies with some um, mixed nuts and caramel sauce on top. They do take a long time to make. I can spend hours and hours just, you know, creating the cake texture and things like that. And these little chopped nuts here are all added individually. And obviously the the clay they're not real <laughs> not real chopped nuts but anyway there's those um there's a couple of i think these are my last two red velvet cake this seems to be quite popular but again all these are added individually and i like the icing to come down the sides make it look a little bit more realistic So there's those ones. Um, cheesecakes. I've got a few different cheesecakes. Um, so there's um, an orange one. Um, a strawberry one. They're more of the same. And then there's um, lemon and a blueberry one as well you probably can't see that too well in the packet but because they're quite good sellers i tend to try and keep the same varieties together so oh you can kind of see the blueberries there a bit um just trying to think if there's anything else of notability here i think you can pretty much see oh this one's quite nice this is a chocolate orange cake I like that one with like a it's got like a chocolate ganache and then I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up but there is like a swirl of chocolate over it as well so some of those and then I have some savory ones and some that aren't food at all so this is the I think it's the only non-food one that that I have in my shop it's little succulents in pots, they're cute. I really liked um, how these turned out with the colours. So there's those, and some pizzas, and I do two different styles of pizzas. So these are the obviously round ones. There's like um. A veggie one with olives and peppers and then there's a pepperoni and a margarita i've only got one of those left and then this one here is pizza slice i think i prefer this one and um, then there's one lonely jacket potato with cheese and yes, all those little pieces of cheese are individually cut and painstakingly put into there. Um, this one isn't listed because it's. I usually keep a little prototype so I know roughly what the last batch looked like. Obviously, they're all slightly different, you know. But I do these with um, filled with cheese, filled with baked beans and one with butter. And they're all gone now. Then I have 
let's see beans on toast which is a it's popular in the uk i'm not sure about other places that that eat beans on toast but it's popular here and then there's an egg on toast as well and a couple of cheese sandwiches i think my toasted cheese ones have gone but they're just cheese sandwiches and hot dogs with mustard and ketchup so that's those ones um oh i do have a couple of new ones um now these ones these ones are not listed yet but i will show you so these are spaghetti bolognese that i did on little plates with a um, little bit of parmesan and some basil leaves they did take a long time to make but it's fun to make them so there's those ones and there's also um, spaghetti hoops on toast I like those ones. Again, they're not listed yet. They might be by the time this video goes up if uh, I get myself together. And there's some little heart biscuits as well. Again, these ones are not listed. They're new ones that I've made. And they're not up yet. So I need to keep those separate. Uh, then just in case you thought I might not have any more. <laughs> These are everything that's sweet but not a cake. So these ones here are not for sale. I use these ones for work because they're, well, they're not really hand, well, I don't consider them handmade as such because they're from a mould. Obviously, oh, I've had to put the filling in and stuff, but I can't sell these because they're branded. Um, but I do give them to the children at work for rewards. Um, then I've got some strawberries. They're quite cute. And... I might only have one of these left as well. Um, I've got a couple of little meringue nests. This is a blueberry one. I think I do have um, a strawberry or raspberry one listed as well. But I think I might have left it upstairs, my other stuff. Um, these ones, I really like these ones. These are little jammy dodgers. Um, they've got a glittery finish to emulate the sugar so there's a few of those um, some ice creams so there's the 99 ice cream with the flake and raspberry sauce And there's the mint choc chip as well. It's not, I think there's only three of those left, yeah. There's some wafer ice creams, Neapolitans. Uh, these ones are quite new. These are um, Viennese Wells with jam and cream in. And there's the syrup and pancakes is always a good seller with some dripped syrup hanging down. 
then I think these are very much a British thing, crumpets with jam and butter. Um, my regular ones with just butter have sold out. I need to make some more of those. Then this one is Turkish Delight. So you can see, I was so pleased with how the scent came out. Had, um, had to do a little bit of experimentation to get it that kind of transparent, glossy centre. Yeah, there's a few of those. These are coconut macaroons. Or chocolate coconut macaroons. And <laughs> I made these, I was actually eating one of these and... Um, I thought I'll take I'll take it upstairs to my art room and make it out of clay. So that's what I did. <laughs> they looked exactly like that one. Um, then there's some rainbow donuts. So they have the indented ring around them. I'm gonna try and finish them off, you know, front and back, so that the, they look consistent with what food would look like um cannolis i've just sold my last chocolate one but i do have some cherry cannolis with cream and a dusting of ice and sugar and some cherry sauce um fortune cookies are a fairly new one that i've put in the shop some um, icing and well chocolate dip whatever you want it to be um, these ones these are quite an old design I'm thinking of updating this design for waffles and blueberries with cream there's one lowly lemon meringue again this one's sold out so I need to make some more and that's a pizza from before. Um, there's a few little chocolate chip cookies. And that's the other type of cookie. Uh, strawberry milkshake cookies. And then there's Jaffa cakes. Um, this one is a cherry bakewell. It's a bit bigger than the rest. But, so that is all of those. And I need to um, put them all back in the places. Um, so I will do that, clear those away, and then um, I'll be back in a second. All right, so the next things I wanted to share are some of my bracelets. Um, these are all memory bracelets that I really enjoy making. Again, um, I make these for my shop. I can't possibly use the amount of bracelets that I make, but um, so that's um, one of them, pretty pink pearl one. This is another one. This is done with um, lava rock. Or lava stone, lava beads, which I really liked. They do have a bit of a, a rough texture, but I think they're very organic and interesting. So I just paired that with some neutral beads, some kind of copper, copper kind of colours. Then this is... Um, green one with um, pearls and glass pearls and mother of pearl beads. And there's some little sparkly ones, AB coated check glass beads in between. Then this is a, a more delicate and dainty one 
with um, silver plated tube beads and glass, check glass faceted beads and some pearls again. So it's really pretty. I like these. I like the chunky ones and I like the quite delicate ones as well. I guess they suit different occasions. And this again has some of those tube beads. This one is, hmm, I forget which gemstone this is. It is a gemstone. Yeah, it escapes me right now. It was, I don't know. It, <laughs> if anybody was interested in knowing, go and look on my Etsy shop because this is listed. So I'll have written it down there. Um, maybe it's aquamarine. I don't know. Um, and some pink glass pearls as well. Then this one I really like. This is, it could be patriotic or it could be a Christmassy type one, I think. Or any occasion. I just like red, white and blue together. So there's the blue and red glass pearls and then there's some um, opal glass faceted check beads and some silver stardust beads and silver findings like all the others this one again is um gemstone beads with some turquoise and copper and then this one is hematite, which is magnetic. And I'm just trying to look without getting too close to the camera. I'm not sure if they are sandstone or just gla glass beads because I can't see close enough to the camera. Although you guys can see real close. Um, I like the colours on that one. And then this final one is a purple one with mother of pearl beads and some glass, silver lined glass beads in this one as well. So they catch the light really nicely and pretty. So that is um, bracelets. I've, I've hundreds more than this. I just grabbed a handful just to, to share. Um, and the great thing about memory bracelets is they fit anybody. So I always have the problem that I've got really tiny wrists, but they fit me and obviously they stretch out to fit anybody. Uh, last thing then. So I'm just going to mention this because people have asked um, over the course of some time about prints in my shop and I do... I do have some prints again. Um, so I'm going to just go through some of the ones I've got. So there are some more fine art ones, which um, obviously this sketch is more of a fine art one. Um, this is a sketch, again, this is a pencil sketch of my kitten that I got not so long ago. Well, 12 months ago now, actually. Um, but that's a, a sketch. And um, then journal pages, there's various ones. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. Um, so some of them have got a white border on and some of them are borderless printing. Um, and how they are is described, you know, on Etsy, if anybody was interested. I just thought I'd share the art because people have asked and... It is nice to look at some of these again. This is, um, again, one with a, a border, mermaid. Um, this is the one that was my um, little avatar for the longest time on my channel. And then there's another of the Big Eyed Girls as well. Um, that's another, obviously more of a fine art one. It goes that way, but I'm trying to fit it into the camera. 
and then this this one is always popular I sell a lot of these and this one so I think all the ones with borders are together so this one here is not currently listed so if anybody it's not on youtube or anything this is just a from a loose leaf journal page but if anybody does want it i'm just being lazy and not relisting it but um yeah it's there and the same goes for if there's any particular journal pages that you want to print off and i've not done them just um let me know some of them i, I can't do because there's too much texture and they go blurred so I can't scan them or anything. Um, but, you know, I'll do my best if anybody wants any. But as I say, you know, it's just to share a little bit of art. And I guess there'll be some new people on my channel who won't have necessarily seen all these pages when they were made. And this one with butterflies. I always liked this piece. And this one really like this one too actually this was done with um napkins in the background in my journal this one i really like as well i don't know why i like the colors the neutral colors just with a touch of red this is a very popular one i i think i've just reprinted this one actually oh yeah you can see on these ones these ones are all borderless now as well um, yeah, I've just reprinted that one. And this one is borderless. And I think these are all ones I've just had to reprint. So, And what I tend to do is I tend to just print one at a time. Oh, I've got two of that one apparently though. Um, I tend to print one at a time. And just list one at a t list one at a time. So, you know, if somebody, if you want one of these and you go to the shop and it's not there anymore because it's sold out, um, just send me a message. I, I just don't like to print loads off at one go. Um, you know, and just have them being stored. So as they get bought, I just print and relist. So it's no problem to get them printed and they're all on archival paper as well these are all on i think it's 230 gsm so it's well it's more of a cardstock isn't it 230 gsm um and it's archival and this one this one is a recent addition because i I didn't get it scanned for the longest time because I didn't think it scanned well, but it actually has scanned pretty well. There's all the flowers have got glitter on them, so and the wings as well. But it's actually come out quite well. I like the depth of colour in this piece. And this is a yeah, these are all reprints. <laughs> There's this one as well. And this one. This one. Can't get them apart. And another one. last one is that one so i think that's everything um there were a couple of things um i was going to mention so first of all um somebody had mentioned to me in the comments on yesterday's video um about doing live live streaming um, that is definitely something that I've been considering because it eliminates the editing problem. Um, so, yeah, look out for that. I'm not sure when I will be doing that. I need to think of something to do first, I guess. Maybe I should plan it out a bit for the first one. I mean, I am used to streaming live. I used to stream for Prima. And before that, I used to stream 
on Newstream. Um, I did plan Prima because it was required. Um, but my other ones, yeah, I didn't plan them. I just put the camera on, really. So I can do it. It's it's very different. It's whether you want to be watching something that's really long and unplanned. I don't know. Um, and other people have mentioned, I hope you're doing mixed media again. Yes, absolutely. I hope you're doing art journal pages again. Yes, definitely. Um all the usual things I will hope to upload. It just won't be as regular as maybe it used to be. Um, I'm sure there were other things to mention. Oh, I must thank the people who bought me a coffee yesterday. Um, yeah, I'm really generous. I'm really appreciated because um, maybe that will pay for my software that I downloaded. I had to get software yesterday just to do the tiniest bit of editing so um it definitely goes towards that um i think that might be it yeah the same as yesterday there'll be links in the video description for my instagrams my other channels um my etsy shop obviously um facebook twitter i don't really use twitter anymore so it's kind of pointless following me there facebook i do use not as much as i used to but you can follow me there if that's what you've got so there was one more thing that I meant to mention. Um, I'm thinking about changing my channel name, mostly because the name I got, I never really wanted in the first place. Um, well, it was a variation of that. But somebody else stole my name. <laughs> no, somebody else got there before me originally when um, I started my channel all those years ago. Um, so because my other channels are Artful Vegan and Artful Stitchery, and my blog for my mixed media is Artful Evidence. I'm thinking I'm going to rename this channel Artful Evidence. So if you come back and it's not Rach O113 anymore and it's Artful Evidence, it's still me. <laughs> so I just thought I'd give you the heads up on that. Okay, bye.